What's going on guys? This is Angelic Double Tell and today as you can see from the title I'm going to be showing you guys the making of an audio cast. Now I know you guys have probably heard of simulcast, podcast, and of course radio cast. But an audio cast is essentially an audio blog. It's just your voice. It's not you talking to a webcam, it's not uh, you writing a blog, but it's you talking. Now, it can be scripted or non-scripted, but my audio casts are non-scripted. I don't have a script to read from, I'm just talking. So, I'm going to show you guys how exactly you make an audio cast. So, first you want to do... First thing you want to do is go to your start menu and you want to go to Windows Movie Maker. Now, I already have it open up here. And once you come into Windows Movie Maker, what you want to do is go to Tools and Narrate Timeline. Now, once you get to narrate timeline, you'll see this bar actually going up. That's my voice. That's how high the frequency of my voice is because I'm actually talking through the built-in microphone in my laptop right now. You can change this to an uh, external microphone if you want to. Um, how you're going to do that is you go to the show option options link and you go down to audio device mine says integrated microphone array and I don't I do have an external mic because I do have a, a pair of headphones hooked up to my computer right now but um I don't want to use that I want to use the um microphone that I have built into my computer so I'll just leave it like that and you can have mute speakers or limit narration to available free space now I have uh, and a lot of free space on my computer so that doesn't really matter to me so I'm just going to hide the options if you don't have Windows Movie Maker, you can actually use, I believe, Camtasia Studio to record your voice. And um, this is probably a little known fact. You can actually use Cam Studio, Cam Studio to record your screen, but then you're going to take it into Windows Movie Maker or if you have a Mac you're going to take it into the editing program there and instead of putting it in the video track you're going to put it into the audio track that way it'll take the audio from the video and it'll end up being a WMA or whatever you said it to be so I'll I'll check back in with you guys in a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do this audio cast and I'll show you guys how I'm going to upload it to my blog and make it public for everyone to hear and make it downloadable as well. So I'll get back with you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, I'm back and I've just finished up my audio cast. And now I'm going to save it as just, um, we're just going to put something random in here. And I'm going to save it. And as you'll see down here, we're going to actually move this up a little bit. As you'll see right here, it has my audio cast. 
and um it's pretty long it's pretty long but um what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put an intro on it so I'm going to go back to well I'm going to close this out close the narration out and then I'm going to import audio or music go down to my music and I'm going to find something really specific really specific that I'm looking for um right here broken game tables now uh with broken game tables I actually want to thank Eric Minnesota for making this mashup because it's really really good he makes the best mashups the best WWE and TNA mashups in all, ever on YouTube he's like a mashup messiah so I actually love 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 his mashups and he makes them available for download for free but I just want to say what's up to Eric Minnesota and uh I just want to thank him for all of these mashups that he's made. <clears throat> and uh, we're just going to get to how I'm going to add this. So I'm going to bring this down and add it to the timeline. And I'm going to see just where I'm going to cut it off. Now I have exactly where I'm going to cut it off at and I'm going to nudge it over just a little bit nudge my audio cast over into the intro and then I'm going to make the intro fade in and fade out as well. And there we go. That's all you have to do. And mine, I'm just going to name AudioCast1. And it's going to save to my desktop, so I'm just going to click Next. Now this is where I'm going to compress it. This will make it actually uh, fit on my server a little bit better. So I'm going to change this to kilobytes. And I'm going to compress it to about 2500 kilobytes. Okay. Uh, it ended up being 2600 so I'm going to compress it to 2600 kilobytes uh, so I'm just going to publish it and since it's so small it's not going to take a, a long time for it to render so uh, you're just going to wait till it finish publishing. So there we go. The your movie has been published. So we're going to close this. We're going to finish this and minimize this. So I'm going to go on to my site. Open up Firefox here. And I'm going to go into my site. Once it loads up here. So, um, I'm going to log in. Well, go to site admin.
And what we're going to do is go to media. And add new. So I'm going to select the file and this audio cast one. There we go.